Now you're ready to get started with your actual code. So there's three files you're going to need and you can get two of them, everything except the client, you can get on the assignment page. So we're going to look at the node first. This should be the exact same node you used on the last lab when you were just doing binary trees. So the node structure itself is identical. What that means is basically all your old code for your binary tree will work for your new binary tree. So what did I do here? I have, here's my constructors. I have the constructor that uh, takes no arguments and sets the root to null. And again, that's the only field I have is the overall root. I have another constructor that takes an entry node and then sets the overall root to be whatever this node is that was sent in. And what this lets us do is build a tree just like we did in the last lab. Uh, I also have a print sideways and contains, which are identical to the last lab. Or not contains, sorry. Well, you can put contains in here. I have print sideways and regular print. I don't like regular print because I need to see the structure, so I almost always use print sideways. Much better, more useful way of displaying what's in there. So how did I get this to work? So here in the client, this is where our main is, I use the exact code I used last time where I built up a tree from nodes. So I just built a bunch of nodes and parented them, and I did all this in previous videos. The only difference is now it's a binary search tree equals new binary search tree, and then I just call print sideways. Um, I have more code down below, so I did an exit and it printed out this tree that you see on the screen. So this should all be acting just like the search tree from last uh, lab. So I didn't do anything additional yet. What we will be doing is the add and the remove, and there's a couple other methods we're going to do, contains, and there's a get min, which is uh, a helper method for the remove. Remove is a doozy. Uh, what we're going to be doing very soon, once you can get this output in, then we're going to go ahead and build a tree the right way. So we create an empty tree. Um, I went and just added a bunch of integers in. And later on, when we have the add method working, we will go and add using the add method and then print out our tree. The reason we're not doing add yet is because if your print sideways doesn't work, you'll have no idea what's actually inside of your tree. So you need to make sure print sideways is working. You might as well get print working as well. Uh, but make sure your print sideways is working. And the way I tested my print sideways, I just manually built up a node structure and then created the binary search tree around it and then print use the print sideways. And as you're doing this, you probably want to build a sim more simple tree. And so just build it with less things to make sure what in the world that took a long time okay just to make sure that your print sideways is actually building the tree you think that it's building i guess we can go to the even more trivial tree and just build it with just the value one in it it's not very exciting to see on the screen but you probably should start from the simple case and then build a slightly more complicated tree to make sure that your print sideways is indeed working once you're sure your print sideways is working then you're ready to move on to add.